guys, welcome back to this video. First of all, I wanna apologize, I look like a hot mess. It's 115 today in Arizona, it's hot. And this is just what you have to look like in order to be an Arizona resident. Anyways, I wanna to talk today about some things that I didn't know um, before starting my MSN and how I've been able to apply that to my current bedside practice. As many of you know, I'm a sponsored FlexPass student at Capella University and I'm getting my MSN in nursing education. I'm like two milliseconds from being done, sort of, kind of, maybe-ish. I'll probably talk about that in my next video. But one thing I didn't realize before starting my master's degree was was how to evaluate someone's knowledge. I know it sounds so silly, but as someone who really enjoys teaching, I love when I get nursing students that follow me or when people ask me questions through my social media. I love being an educator and explaining things and teaching people things, but I never really realized how you evaluate someone's knowledge to ensure that they actually do understand what you're talking about. There's a ton of different methods for teaching and learning styles and how one perceives information and how someone responds to information and how you evaluate if someone's actually retaining the information and education that you're teaching them. As a bedside nurse, this has really helped my practice in working with new nurses that maybe are shadowing me for the day or maybe are coming to the ICU, nursing students, and also my patients because I feel like when I'm teaching something, I am evaluating for like how they learn best and then also like making sure that they really truly understand what I'm talking about. This is a very beneficial thing as a nurse to be able to ensure that your patients actually understand what you're talking about. And if you wanna be a preceptor one day, it's a great tool to have to be able to really evaluate for the knowledge that you're teaching someone. That's probably one of the biggest things that I have learned in my MSN, as well as how to write papers. I have really learned how to write a lot of papers. I'm so glad that I've been able to apply these things to my practice because I, I'm not gonna lie, when I started my MSN, I really didn't know if like how much I would actually like be able to put towards the bedside. And I'm pleasantly surprised at how many things I've actually been able to put towards my bedside practice. If you guys have any questions about Capella, about getting your MSN, about all their other degrees and programs, all those links will be down below. Also, you can drop questions for me as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.